Hi everyone, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors. And today we are here with the fabulous Ann Wheeler with Goddessman Real Estate. Um, we are doing our live interviews for the 2023 Board of Directors election. So welcome Ann, thank you for being here with me today. Um, why don't we just get started by you giving us why you want to run for the Board of Directors and your elevator pitch. Thank you for the opportunity. Of course. Yeah. I am excited to be here, and um, I thought long and hard about this decision this year. Mm -hmm. um, I decided that I wanted to run because I was part of the board decision to set a strategic plan, five-year plan, five years ago. And that vision with the incredible staff execution has come to fruition. Really, really big dream. And I would love to be a part of setting that vision and that intention for, <clears throat> excuse me, for Abor and Actress moving forward. That's wonderful. And it, that was a fabulous year. And what a strategic plan. Oh, my goodness. It was pretty great. I, and it has carried us through. Mm -hmm. It so. has. Well, yeah. as you know, we have our Abor side, the association exactly. side, and we have the MLS side. Mm -hmm. And so how will you work to reinforce the value of the MLS in, as an Actress board member? That's a great question. I think what we want most of all is control of our data. You all may remember that um, we lost that control several years ago um, with a slip up with TCAD. And I would like to see that we continue to have more control over our data. It's a big deal to me. So I'm going to ask you the same question, but on the ABOR side, what part of the strategic plan that we implemented uh, five years ago do you want to carry or move, see moving forward into 2023 and beyond? Oh my goodness. I just have kind of lots of thoughts around that. One of them is to continue to support our members to become the most professional um, realtors in the nation. I really would love to see that um, continued and elevated. Um, I think that serving the members and figuring out and listening to what our membership wants, their hopes, their dreams, their vision, and also um, the information about what we can do better. I'd really love to hear from the membership on that because that's the way we make our best decisions. Especially in such an incredible market that oh, we've seen goodness. over the last couple of years and then now this sort of shift, yeah. um, that would be great to, to ensure that we're getting the feedback from the members as exactly. well. Exactly. So let's talk about you as a professional. Okay. So what do you feel you bring to the table and, and how do you think you can work as a team on the board of directors? Oh my goodness. Um, I've been in this industry a long time, decades, as in about four. <laughs> <laughs> So I've also been a brokerage owner and a boots on the ground agent for all of those years. So I think that I bring a, a wide um, a, a wide amount of experience uh, as both a member of the board serving on the MLS committee and serving on the board of realtors. And I think what I bring to that is a, a big view. So I think I am able to see a really broad spectrum of opportunities and um, of, you know, of taking all the personalities on the board, listening, gathering what I um, was not exposed to, and that's a lot, <laughs> uh, and also then bringing my ideas and opinions to the board. Wonderful. So as we mentioned, the market has changed in, mm. in your four decades. Mm. You've seen um, quite a big uh, shift in the market. So what do you feel is the biggest challenge that we're facing today in the industry? What do you think is the biggest challenge we face as a growing association here in Central Texas? Wow. Um, so I have ridden this real estate roller coaster for a while. I think today, like we have in the past probably five years or more, see the disruptors. Um, I think what I would like to say is let's stick to basics. Um, let's do that. I think that's a huge challenge for us when we look at all the things that are happening. If we stick to basics and we stick to serving our clients and the public well and treating each other with respect, 
I think that goes a long way to managing all the ups and downs and shifts in this market. The good old tried and true fundamentals. The good just, old tried and true, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what do you think, just lastly, what do you think Aborn Actress should be doing about that with regards to getting back to basics in, in any given market? How can Aborn Actress help move the association forward? You know, I think um, we have done an amazing job with education, and I would say continue to do that. What I was just stunned about with our staff was their immediate shift in COVID to um, not in-person but video classes and online classes. And we've kept that, and I think that is amazing. I think that makes all of our educational opportunities available to our huge market. And as we all know, you know, we may be doing business at 10 p.m. a.m. as well, but um, it's so lovely, like, to be able to do Aceable Agent mm -hmm. and take that, um, take those exams on my own time, mm -hmm. which might be at midnight, and it could be at 10 a.m. So I'm just so pleased about that and I would like to see us even broaden that. I'd also like to see us to get back to all the in-person stuff yeah. because the synergy of getting together just brings out so much more creativity, I think. Absolutely. Networking is key in this business, oh, for sure. Absolutely. Well, is there any last remarks that you'd like to tell your, um, your colleagues out there as to why you would like to be on the Board of Directors uh, in 2023? Tell uh -huh. us why. Give Tell us your you last one. remarks. My last remarks. Well, first of all, I'd like to say that it would be a privilege to have your vote. So I would love to do that. Um, I would really like to continue my board service because I believe that we accomplished great things. And I think that I brought some of that to the table. And I also was able to listen to new ideas so I would really love to have the opportunity to serve you, to listen to you, and to be a part to make changes that need to be made. And more than that, creative changes that move us forward, thinking outside the box, bringing to you something that you didn't even know you needed. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so um, much. Be sure to vote for your 2023 Board of Directors. Uh, the election is in September, so more to come, and we'll see you next time.